Bitcoin future big crash is painful for everyone including big tech and Elon Musk who invested a lot now is the time to buy and hold at least a fortnight. Selling is not an option right now Wall Street have joined the Crypto Believers Club, hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones helped set off the frenzy when he said in May he was buying Bitcoin as a hedge against the inflation he sees coming in the wake of policymakers' aggressive actions to keep the economy alive in the coronavirus pandemic. The idea is that Bitcoin could be inflation-proof because it's designed to have a limited supply. While STRET backquotes interest in Bitcoin, may say as much about their professional incentives as the investment case, cryptos can look like a chance. Right now at current levels, there's the least amount of people that we're going to see invested in this, she says. Starting tomorrow there will be more. Starting the next day there will be more J Morgan and Morgan Stanley are eyeing Bitcoin. Here are the big Wall Street names warming to cryptocurrencies. A $150 billion investment arm of Morgan Stanley is weighing up getting involved in Bitcoin, according to a report, as the soaring price of the biggest cryptocurrency garners attention on Wall Street in another example of the rising interest, Morgan co-president Daniel Pinto said on Friday he's sure demand for Bitcoin will pick up to the extent that the Wall Street giant will have to be involved. As Wall Street interest in Bitcoin builds, here are some other institutions moving towards cryptocurrencies Bank of New York Mellon plans to issue, hold, and transfer clients Bitcoin, the Wall Street Journal reported on February 11, marking a key development in bringing cryptocurrencies into the mainstream. America's oldest bank will soon allow digital currencies to be treated the same as more orthodox investments in its asset management system, MasterCard will begin allowing customers to use some cryptocurrencies on its network later this year, although it did not specify which BlackRock has authorized two of its funds to invest in Bitcoin futures, according to January filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission.